Hey Tinkers, my name is Natalia and today I'm going to show you this Dracula card with a candy bar right in the middle. It's a great card for invitations or maybe apologies and it's very very easy to create. You decide what I should create next week by voting in the card above. And let's begin, here's what you need to create this card. Find the middle on the short side of the paper and then make a mark. Then place the marking at one and a half centimeters on the ruler and make markings at zero and three centimeters. And repeat this on the opposite side. And make lines between the markings you just made. Divide this rectangle into head, body and legs by making markings at three and 13 centimeters. Repeat this on the opposite side as well and then make lines across. We need to find the middle of the body here, which measures 10 centimeters. So make markings at 5 centimeters on each side of the body. Place the marking at 0.5 centimeters on your ruler and then make a line that's 1 centimeters in total. And do this on the opposite side as well. And use your box cutter to cut them open. And this is of course for the ribbon we are going to use for this card. If you want, you can actually give your figure longer legs. You just make a marking at 9 cm instead of 13. When you've cut and measured everything for the card, it's time to create the figure. And you decide if you want Dracula, a witch or a mummy or something completely different like the Easter Bunny inside the card. Then color your figure. If you're using any kind of markers, beware that the color might seep through. Put some glue all over the back of the front piece and then attach it onto the back piece. And press down to make it stick properly. And you need to reopen these openings with your box cutter. Then cut off any excess pieces of the card that isn't really needed. My piece of ribbon measures 50 centimeters, and what you do is you take each end of the ribbon and push it through the opening in the card. Pull on each end of the ribbon until they're equal in length on each side. Make a big loop in the middle of the card before adding the candy bar, then pull on each end of the ribbon to secure it. Gently bend the sides over one another before tying a pretty bow right in the middle. If you want, you can add some details on the outside and maybe write a message on the inside but that's totally up to you. There are so many ways of creating this, so just let your imagination loose and get creative. I hope you enjoy watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the bell button below so you don't miss out on any future videos. And if you're looking for more Halloween-inspired ideas, check out these videos here, and I'll see you soon with more ideas. Bye!